what is up everyone it is token back finally with our pokemon moon nuzlocke as we did make it to the battle royale in our last episode we got to see this feature and everything we met the mask uh the masked royale i think that's his name we met the mask royale and uh had all that happen thank you guys for tuning in though i definitely appreciate the support and i wanted to first of all of course issue a huge apology to those of you who are here for the nuzlocke i know everything else is pretty much competitive battling so if you're not really into competitive you kind of have no reason to be subscribed to this channel if i'm not producing the nuzlocke videos so i do i do really do i really do apologize to all of you who have um who have who subscribed to this channel expecting to see more of this nuzlocke and then i just went on a huge break from the nuzlocke there's two huge reasons for that. One, me being extremely busy, and my main priority with this channel is VGC. VGC is my niche. It's what I really enjoy. Do I enjoy doing this, of course, but uh, VGC is something I'm really passionate about and something I really um, um, that I'm prioritizing on this channel. It's something I prioritize getting videos out. So when I do have time to make videos, VGC will be prioritized. Um, I do. Uh, that's just the way it is. So I'm sorry for that. If you're here for the Nuzlocke, I will start to actually get these Nuzlocke episodes back up and running and back out at a much more steadier pace than what we've had as of recently. Um, the second huge reason because of uh, the videos. Uh, of course, me being. Bu oh, I don't even know if I said it, but yeah, me being busy and me prioritizing VGC when I do have time. Um, I barely have had time to make videos. So when I did have time, I prioritized the VGC content and the competitive content. So. Uh, I do apologize to those of you who are here for the Nuzlocke, especially those of you who uh, I've named Pokemon after and you guys answered the question of the day. I love you guys and I, th um, I thank you so much if you stuck with the channel. I know we've lost a few subs. Um, if, that's, if, if we didn't lose any subs because of me not producing Nuzlocke videos, then that's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Um, I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me and knowing that I was going to eventually get back to this. Didn't make any thorough announcements or anything. I did say on Twitter that I was going to be uh, bringing this uh, back. So unless you guys follow me on Twitter, you might not have known. But we are here. We are back with the Nuzlocke. The second reason was uh, just because I've been also, um, the channel's kind of hit a little bit of a wall. Um, our growth has been pretty stagnant. Um, kind of stuck at 153 and 150, just going back and forth between those. And I've really been uh, doing a lot of thinking. Uh, when I did, the time that I did have to actually make one of these Nuzlocke episodes, I spent that time doing a lot of thinking and evaluating the channel and evaluating what I can do to improve this channel and try to make uh, the channel better. So if you guys want to throw any suggestions, let me know uh, what I can do from my part to improve this channel, what exactly you guys would enjoy to see from this channel because um, I want to continue to grow. Um, it was pretty alarming to me that the growth just became um, extremely stagnant. That, that was... Uh, pretty depressing honestly so I was doing a lot of thinking on how I can innovate and try to branch our channel out and continue for it to grow since we started to hit that stagnation so I apologize either way though no excuses as to why we haven't had a, an episode for as long as we have but we are here today happy Valentine's Day everyone uh, thank you for tuning in on Valentine's Day uh, or the days after Valentine's Day don't know when you're watching this but uh, happy Valentine's Day I hope you guys are spending it with your loved one or uh, your significant other if you have one or hopefully you guys are just enjoying the day and enjoying your own presence if you are single like someone like myself uh, yeah anyways though let's just uh let's just get into it okay I don't know if the music was just messing up there or not I'm not sure what was just going on Maybe I can turn this up just a tad. Yeah, right to there. But yeah, we'll hop right into recapping the team. Of course, how we start off every episode, leading out the party, is going to be Quinto Beans, our Lolan Marowak. Uh, our Lolan Marowak. Our Lolan Grimer, who does have the moveset of Poison Fang, Poison Gas, Disable, and Bite. And as, also, as always, you guys can answer the question of the day to get a Pokemon named after you. Next is going to be RJ, the oh, uh, Dartrix, with the moveset of Razor Leaf, Leashes, Leafage, <laughs> Astonish, and Peck. Next is going to be Floats, the Fomantis, with the moveset of Fairy Cutter, Leafage, Razor, Leaf, and False Swipe. Uh, next is going to be Mirror, with the moveset of Hyper Fang, Pursuit, Quick Attack, and Bite. Next up to that is going to be Clark, with the moveset of Takedown, Bite, Work Up, and Helping Hand. And last but not least is going to be Blue Waste, the EV, with the moveset of Echoed Voice, Sand Attack, Baby Dolls, and Quick Attack. But yeah, uh, Lolan Grimer, Darkness, Fomantis, uh, Alolan Rat Rattata. Her deer and EV. We're gonna say what's up to Halu. Well, 
I don't know what his deal is, but I thought that battle was just plain fun. That's why I like doing battle royales, and my Pokemon seem like them too. Oh, it's something he already said, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna get the heck out of this battle royale and try to make it on to the next, um, the next, um, trial, hopefully. Um, the volcanic patch, I mean the volcanic, um, it's like Volcanic Park something, I can't think of the exact name, but um, that's a little bit further. We're going to go into this thrifty Mega Mart really quickly though. A few items I want to snag and just want to check a few things out. Welcome to thrifty Mega Mart where the sales are explosive. Here's a special discount coupon. It is only to be, it can only be used in, at our store. I am struggling with speaking. Just show that discount coupon to the checkout staff where you're ringing up at the register. Our store, uh, our store pursues value over all else. Discount coupons are right up our alley. Now, please shop till you drop, or at least until you're completely out of savings. Thanks. Thank you. So we'll talk to this guy. All right, he's gonna give us some tomato berries. Then we got this guy. Welcome to Thrifty Mega Mom. Mm, look, look like you're a trainer, but I can tell you're still just getting started. If you can become the strongest trainer in all of Alola, why don't you come talk to me again? Okay, okay. There's something written on his chest. I'm just a poor hypno. Share some love. The eerie hypno keeps on staring at you. Let's give him a thousand. Wowzers! You're really giving me this? It looked like a hypno, but it actually it's just a person wearing a Pokemon costume. How s small is this guy? Is he on a one on one knee? Hmm. Look at you, big spender. I figure someone might give me money if only I pretend to be a Pokemon, but I had no luck until now. You're the first big donor I had. A shining example of humanity. I'm so touched that I got to do something to pay you back. Here, take this. All right, we do get TM rest. I'm going to mess around with the sound real quickly. I think we could be a little bit louder. We'll go to 20. There we are there. Oh, oh, oh. Messing stuff up. All right, there we are. All right. What else do we got here? Bye. Timer balls. Um, I guess I'll take two of each. We're kind of banking. Kind of have lots and lots of money. Oh, cool. Take five of these. Trying to use some hill balls today. It's Valentine's Day. Um, pink is a huge theme of Valentine's Day, so hopefully we can uh, use some of those um, use some of those hill balls on a Pokemon we may be catching in an incoming route or something. So. Uh, that seems pretty cool, and this uh, coupon's coming in heavily with those discounts, and we'll leave it at that. What is this guy selling? Some potions, we'll take four of those. Uh, we'll take two of these. We'll take three of these. Don't need burn here. Awakening two is fine, and I'll take four more of those. Not bad. Let's keep. Let's see what this lady has. Just the strange souvenir. I guess we'll take one. Not really sure what this does, but I guess we'll take one. Alright, and we will be getting the heck out. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk to everyone in here. I'll come back and talk to other people and see if there's anything else we can obtain in that Mega Mart. But we'll call it quits for now. Zygarde Core here. Or Zygarde Cube. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well we're on to this next route. 
And this looks like Route 7, so we will begin our Route 7 encounter now. And that's the Well of Volcanic Park. That's what I was trying to say. Couldn't think of its name. You're missing out if you don't ever see Captain Koi's dancing. Now go up to the volcano. You don't know me like that, bruh. Um, or do we get a Route 7 encounter? Uh, we might. It looks like Route 7 might be one of those routes where you have to come from a different side to be able to actually get an encounter. So either way, we'll be at least be getting our Wella Volcanic Park in encounter. So we'll see exactly what we get here. The fire burns. Wella Volcanic Park. The fire burns bright and hot here. So alright, we'll get this encounter really quickly to see exactly what we run into. So our Wella Volcanic Park encounter is going to be... Cubone, let's go. Love me some Cubone. Um, oh god, I do not have Eevee on the screen. Oh, I will update both of those after this Cubone battle. I am so sorry, guys. I didn't even realize. I did not even realize. Going to go into her deer just so that we don't get like bone hammeringed or something really hard by this uh this Cubone. So I'll do that. I will get the intimidate off on it. The Bone Club, yeah, something I was afraid of. Go for a bite. This shouldn't Oko. At least praying it doesn't. No, it doesn't even come close. Do you get a flinch? Oh, please no, Cubone. Cubone, please no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Alright, we have to knock out this other Cubone. Take a little bit of recoil from that. Another bone club. That does good damage. And another bone club. Go for another takedown. Oh, it avoided the attack. Oh, and it's going for Lear now. Oh, God. We're going to switch into RJ. And uh, just try to obliterate these Cubones because it looks like it's going to be get a little annoying. Take a headbutt. And a focus energy. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I forgot he hits both slots! Oh, God. I am such a scrub for that. And we crit both of them. We didn't crit one. We crit both of them. Oh my god. I meant to use Leafage. I forgot that Razor Leaf hits both slots. Oh my god. I wanted a Cubone. We could have got a really cool low in Marowak. That would have been awesome for the team. Um, I screwed that up pretty much as bad as someone could possibly screw something up. And I'm going to keep... Uh, do we really need Pursuit? Actually, let's, uh, let's forget an old move. Don't really need Pursuit. I'll get rid of Pursuit. But man, I really screwed that up. Um, I need to slow down because I screwed that up really badly. Okay, so let's keep on moving on right along. Man, I'm, I'm still a little bent out that I screwed up that Marowak encounter. That really sucks. I would love to have gotten to Marowak. Do you pick up a Hyper Potion? And we have a Trainer Battle. And I'm just going to make sure that our XP share is turned on. We're going to throw floats in the lead and make sure the XP share is still on. Floats the Fomantis. And yes, it is on. I want to make sure uh, Blue Ace the Eevee gets some adequate time. 
I mean, get some adequate XP. Not really ready to battle on its own, though. We do have a trainer battle. Let's see how this goes. And as always, we do have a question of the day. Today's question of the day is going to be a little Valentine related. I'm sorry that it's not too creative, but I did what I could. And it's going to be, uh, what's your favorite pink Pokemon? We actually have a lot of pink Pokemon. And uh, what's your favorite out of them? My favorite's actually going to be probably like Gorbias and uh, Mew. Those are my two favorites, so uh... So we get faked out, and that does... Oh my god, that's so much damage. We gotta get the heck out of here. That is too much damage. But yeah, um, yeah, let me know what your favorite pink Pokemon is. We have Pokemon like Lickitung, Licky Licky, we have Chansey, we have, uh... Felicity, of course, we have Clefable, Clefairy, we have Skitty, we have Wishker, we have, oh, there's, there's actually a good amount, I'm trying to think of them all, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, um, trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anyone, Brush, Brushix, uh, anything else, uh, let me know if I'm forgetting anyone, but yeah, just let me know what's your favorite pink Pokemon, I know there's a few that I'm forgetting. RJ's going to grow to level 24, and now he's trying to learn Puck, Pluck. Yeah, Pluck is better than Peck, so we'll allow RJ to learn that. She's taking a selfie, oh god. I'm the cutest of the size, uh, seismic. Yeah, I'm the cutest of the seismic sisters. A trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This cave here leads to the top of the volcano. Just so you know. All right. So it looks like we can actually redeem ourselves and get one of these cave encounters. Just going to heal up our team really quickly. Make sure we're ready to go. Ready to rock. Not really sure if Fomantis is really ready to be in the lead. Um, Fomantis is kind of, it's kind of letting me down a little bit. So we will allow uh, Mirror to stay in the lead and we'll rock out that way. So we'll go into this cave. Oh, well, looks like it just threw us to the other side and that looks like the trial. So we're actually going to dodge that trial just for now. We'll go to it uh, right after this. We just want to check out this area. Oops, sorry about that. Do get a Zygarde cube. But yeah, I actually really like Gorbias' design. It's pretty simple, but it works for me. Um, it seems like just an, an actually cool uh, Love Disc. Um, Love Disc is just the actual little heart. Oh yeah, Love Disc is a pink Pokemon. I was forgetting pretty much the main little pink one that's really Valentine's Day related. Uh, this is like another one of those Seismic Sisters. I'm the prettiest of the Seismic Sisters. A trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This pad here leads... To the right side of Volcano, just so you know. So we'll take that. Uh, oh, wow. We have an Ace Trainer here. And this looks like the last of those Seismic Sisters. I'm the most charming of the Seismic Sisters. A trio of siblings who love, love, love Volcanoes. This path here, this path here leads to the left side of the Volcano, just so you know. Alright, we got this Ace Trainer in front of us. I do not want to lead Mira into an Ace Trainer. So... We'll go Clark. We'll see if Clark can stand up to the Ace Trainer. Allow me to show you the Ace Kadabra of an Ace Trainer. We'll see what you got. So Clark's not looking like the worst lead because Clark does have Bite for Psychic types. So we will just take on this Kadabra, go for the bite. How much is Sidebeam going to do? That's actually going to do a lot. Does a good chunk of damage. We go for the bite, and we almost take out this, but I think we do. We do not have quick attack. I don't know how much damage that did. Not knowing how much damage that it did, I will go into Grimer, not wanting to lose our Clark the Herdier. Don't want to chance it. We'll resist that poison, and I will just go for another bite. Of 
Sark will go to level 22. And Float Sora is a level. Float Stuff Romances and Blue Waste the EV. So not bad. Not bad. So I'm going to have to do a lot of cutting with this video. <laughs> uh, it's all good though. We got a hiker here, we'll take on the hiker. So it looks like we're going to make it through Volcan uh, the Well of Volcanic Park in this episode and in next episode it looks like we'll actually be taking on the trial. Um, unfortunately the trial is actually going to take a decent amount of time. I want to make sure we get the entire trial all in one episode. So it looks like we'll likely be doing that in the next episode. Let's focus up on taking on this rock and roller though. Um, Let's see if Floats can take on a Rog and Roller. Let's see if Floats can do that. Do you get a Mud Slap? We'll resist that, but it will lower our accuracy. So hopefully that doesn't become an issue. We'll go for a Leafage. Do hit it. And we don't do much damage. Uh, that lowers defense, but raises speed though. Oh, a Rock Blast. Okay, please do not hit five times. Three times. Okay, we have to get out of floats. Float still isn't ready. We'll go into RJ. We'll allow RJ to finish this off. Hopefully another Rock Blast actually doesn't come out at us, though. Um, maybe not. Shouldn't have went into RJ. Do get a Mud Slap, and we do avoid that. Look at me making plays here. Making the plays. We'll go for a Razor Leaf and take out this Rock and Roller. Has a Monchamp. We'll stay in with uh, RJ. Oh yeah, let me know the reasoning why uh, your favorite pink Pokemon is is your favorite out of the the pink Pokemon. Um, I think, like I said, I think Orbeez has a really cool design. I've always really liked it and Huntel, but I didn't play Ruby and Sapphire. I never played those games fully through. I I played both of them, and obviously I played the remakes and um, Alpha Sapphire, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. But um, I didn't fully play through those games. Very lengthy story, and uh, that was kind of during a time where I was interested in some other games, namely Mario as a kid. So. Guess we're just gonna hop all the way back down to the bottom of the volcano. But yeah, uh, namely Mario. So I didn't, I didn't fully play through um, Sapphire and Ruby initially. But um, I've always liked Huntel. Yeah, and that'll take us all the way back to the bottom. Definitely liked uh, Huntel and Gorbias, and uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite pink ones. And then uh, Mew's like a really close second. It's second, but it's a really close second. Um, Mew's just a, an awesome Pokemon. It's really cool. It's uh, one of the coolest legendaries. One of the most well-designed ones, in my opinion, honestly. Um, yeah, it looks like all we have next is that trial. We don't actually have a, a cave encounter. It looks like that trial is just going to be next. Good job making it this high. Why don't you heal your Pokemon? Oh, she's going to heal them for us. Always at the most inopportune time, someone wants to heal our Pokemon. Uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, we will take on the um, our next trial. This is going to be our fourth trial, trial against Kawaii and he's the fire type uh, trial captain and uh, yeah we'll be taking on his trial apparently he's fancy of dancing so we'll see exactly what that means and uh, thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode though I hope you did enjoy um, we kinda just had a few battles and everything we we're just progressing the story a little bit further um, sorry this one's a little bit on the shorter end but I do wanna have the full trial in one episode I don't wanna break in the trial that'd be really ridiculous so um Thank you guys for tuning in anyway, though. Hopefully you answered the question today. Favorite pink Pokemon is Valentine's Day. Have a great Valentine's Day, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next Nuzlocke episode. We will have more going up, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in, though. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Peace out, everyone. Peace.